Everyone is excited and enamored by artificial intelligence, but most of us aren't ready. I'm gonna talk about what you need to do to get ready for AI in today's video. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients through their digital transformation and AI journeys. And we're working with a lot of organizations right now that are super interested in AI. In fact, most of the world is interested in AI and there's a lot of buzz and hype around it. But a lot of organizations haven't quite figured out what they need to do to get ready for AI. They think they're ready, but they're not. There's a lot of core foundational stuff that needs to happen before you and others in the industry are going to be able to effectively use AI. So what I wanna do in today's video is talk about how you can get ready for AI and put yourself in a situation where you can actually get value out of artificial intelligence instead of just being distracted by it. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how to be effective and successful in your AI initiative, I encourage you to read our guide to AI strategy and implementation. It's a guide that we recently published to help organizations figure out how they can get ready for AI implementations, how they can define an AI strategy that makes sense for them, and how they can execute an AI implementation that makes the most sense for them. So you can read that for free on our website by scanning the QR code right here or go to the links below. AI is completely useless unless you have good data. And this has actually been a true statement for years now, decades now. Organizations have historically struggled with how to have good data to get better reports or better business intelligence. And organizations just haven't generally crack the code on how to have clean data and have good data that will make their project successful. So one of the things that's really important with AI, even more important than BI or reporting, is to ensure that you have good data. With BI and reporting, there's always ways you can work around it. Even if it's not perfect, you can still go find and clean up data if you need to. You can go manually search for information you're looking for. It's not great, people don't like it, but you can still work around it. But with AI, if you've got faulty data, you're training an AI model in a way that's going to create problems and create delusions for the organization later on. And what I mean by delusion and what the industry means by delusions is that you're getting information from your AI model that is inaccurate because the information you fed it is inaccurate and you're training it in a wrong way. So one of the most important things you need to do before you even think about investing in a new AI solution and rolling out to your organization is making sure that you clean up your data. And this goes for all kinds of data, your transactional data, your master data, and your financial data, your GL. You wanna make sure that you've got all this data cleaned up to where it's organized and structured in a way that makes sense for your organization. Most organizations find that they're corrupting data unintentionally over time because you have humans touching that data. There's not very good guidelines in place for how to manage the data. There's not an ongoing cleansing of the data over time. And so what happens is you fast forward years or decades later, and the data is a complete mess. And if you take that same data, move it over to some new systems or even use your existing systems, and then try to invest in some AI technologies, it's gonna draw from that faulty data and it's not gonna be helpful to you as, as a tool set. So you're just throwing money out the window at that point. So before you invest in AI, before you really go too far down the path, you really need to look at your data and make sure that your transactional data, your master data, your financial GL types of data, make sure that's all structured and clean in a way that's gonna inform and educate and train the AI models in a way that makes sense for your organization. I just spoke about how data cleansing is so important for investing in AI. If you don't have clean data, your AI model is going to be broken. But that's only step one. Step two is what happens once you clean up the data and you're ready to go with your new AI initiative. If you don't have data governance in place to ensure you don't just corrupt the data or that humans aren't corrupting the data longer term, you're just going to run into the same problem as if you had never cleaned up the data in the first place. So in other words, what we need to do is have data governance in place to where the human side of the equation is structured to where it's not causing the data to be compromised in a way that's going to lead to delusions and inaccurate analysis and information from your AI tool set that you might be investing in. And this is really more of an organizational issue and a process issue more so than an actual data issue. What I mean by that is you need to define what the processes are in the structure 
and the roles and responsibilities and the ownership of different types of data. For example, if you allow everyone to change master data, for example, your, your vendor master data, if you're gonna allow too many people to touch the vendor master, you're gonna end up with duplicates, you're gonna end up with unstructured data, you're gonna end up with a lot of problems later on. And that's just one type of data, the vendor master. You've got other types of master data, you've got transactional data, and humans are constantly touching the system and the data. And if you don't have the right process and expectations in place, that data is gonna be corrupt, which is gonna to lead to AI problems later on. So again, before you invest in AI, not only do you need to clean up your data, but you need to make sure you have that right governance in place from an organizational and operational perspective to ensure that you keep the data clean and that you have accurate data to feed the AI models and to get more value out of the AI tools longer term. Another thing that's important before you go too far down the path of rolling out AI tools to your team is to ensure that you have clear roles and responsibilities for team members that are going to be using AI and are going to be affected by AI. And this is different than what I talked about before as it relates to data governance. Data governance is very important. There's operational and process things that need to be defined within that realm, as I mentioned before. But here I'm talking about not data governance, but I'm talking about just your general operations. Anyone that might be using the AI tool set needs to be trained on what their new process looks like. What are their roles and responsibilities and expectations within this post AI world that we're living in? If we just give people an AI tool set, it doesn't mean they're gonna use it, and it doesn't mean they're gonna accept it and adopt it and be excited about it. Chances are more likely that they're not gonna use it and they're gonna fear it and they're gonna push back and resist it. So what we have to do is define for each person that's going to be touching the AI tool set, we have to define for them what their roles and responsibilities need to look like, how we want them to use AI, and what they're gonna do with the time that they free up because they're using AI to do much of their job. And this is a complete disruption to most people's jobs because most people aren't used to using AI. Most people are used to using Excel spreadsheets and old outdated technologies. And now you're talking about rolling out an AI data set or an AI tool set that completely transforms the way they do business, which is good. This is why we're deploying the technology because we want to transform and improve the business, but that's not gonna happen unless people understand how they're gonna use a tool set and how it's gonna affect their jobs and what you expect for them longer term. Now, if we ignore this organizational and job design piece of things, what happens is people will panic about the use of AI. They will feel threatened by the fact that you're giving them a new tool set that's gonna automate their job, it's gonna free up all this time, and they're gonna worry that they're not as valuable and not as worthwhile to the organization. And you don't want that. You want people to be motivated. You wanna get more out of people. And most organizations that we work with are looking for ways to use AI to make people better at their jobs, not make them fear their jobs or worry that they aren't gonna have a job. So if you don't provide this clarity to employees, they are in fact going to freak out. They're gonna push back and they're gonna resist the change. So it's really important that we define that and provide that clarity for how the jobs are gonna look, what their role is gonna look like going forward. Let them freak out, let them panic, let them work through the transition process well before you start rolling out the tool set. If we don't do that, what happens is they get the tools in their hand and they're not gonna use it. So we need to do all that pre-work ahead of time to ensure that they understand what their job is gonna look like and how they're gonna add value to the organization using these AI tool sets. Now, the last thing you wanna do before you start deploying AI technologies is ensure that you have a very clear and a solid and effective implementation plan. We refer to this at Third Stage Consulting as a phase zero. It's the phase zero implementation plan. It's that blueprint. It's the architecture of what the organization is gonna look like going forward. This is where you define things around how we're gonna cleanse the data, as we talked about earlier. What's the data governance gonna look like going forward? What are people's roles and responsibilities gonna look like going forward? And there's other aspects that we wanna include in this as well. Things like, how are we gonna integrate systems? How are we gonna train people? How are we gonna go through all the things we've talked about so far in this video? What's that timeline and strategy look like? So that implementation planning phase is one of the most important things you could do because the more time you spend clearly defining how this rollout's gonna look, how AI is gonna be embedded within your organization and how people are going to be using AI tools in your organization, the more time you spend doing that up front, the more likely it is that you're gonna be successful in your implementation. If you rush into just deploying new AI technology because you're excited about it or because your competitors are doing it, without that clarity, without that blueprint, you're gonna waste a lot of time and money and create a lot of disruption to your organization. So you wanna make sure you do that stuff up front. 
And if you'd like to learn more about phase zero in implementation planning, we actually have a phase zero checklist that you can download off our website. And in that checklist, whether you're deploying AI or any other sort of technology, that checklist contains all the things you should be doing to ensure you're ready to start the actual deployment of technology. And you can download that for free off our website by scanning the QR code right here. And we'll also include a link below that you can go to to find that checklist off our website. So I hope you found this information useful. I hope this gives you some guidance and ideas around how you can get ready for your AI initiatives. I know you're probably excited just as I am about AI and all the possibilities. And we haven't fully realized how AI is gonna affect organizations and society in general. So it's a very exciting time we're in and that's great. We wanna be excited, but we also wanna be smart about this. And if you'd like to learn more about how to deploy AI in your organization, how to find the right AI tools, how to look up some use cases and benchmarks for how other organizations are using AI, I encourage you to download our guide to AI strategy and implementation. It's a guide we just published recently. You can find that for free on our website by scanning the QR code right here, or you can go to the links below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.